So just what can YouTube powerhouse Mr. Beast teach academia? It's actually quite a bit. Let's find out together right now. YouTube sensation, Mr. Beast, no period, no space, whose actual name is Jimmy Donaldson, has a lot to teach academia, especially with regards to making videos that people actually want to watch. Just in case you don't know, Mr. Beast creates a variety of different types of videos. He has over 59 million subscribers, over 300 videos, and is an international YouTube sensation by identifying the ways that Mr. Beast makes his videos, we in academia can create our own videos that will be more impactful to students and help them better retain information. In reviewing his many videos and going through his interviews and also looking at what other people have identified, I've discovered that there are 15 key factors that make his videos very special and unique and can really help academia. The first key factor deals with preparation and planning. At the end of the day, like you, the idea is a big part of the video, you know, not even just from clicking it, but whether or not people watch it, you know, if you're spending 24 hours in a corner, that's just not as entertaining as spending 24 hours in a jail cell. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, like the only difference there is the idea. It's not the content. It's like, it's what you formulated beforehand. So yeah, like, I like to spend an hour a day, you know, it's, it's dwindled recently, we, we mm -hmm. have a lot of ideas, but if you spend an hour a day thinking of ideas, it's pretty hard to not expect your channel to do better. Mr. Beast uses creative and critical thinking to fully identify what topic he's trying to cover and how to best create his video. He has multiple brainstorming sessions and writes out what he wants to do and how he wants to do it. His videos aren't fully scripted out, but he has a fully developed plan and idea. Key factor number two, always have a hook. At the beginning of the video, just tell, like literally the simplest thing, just tell them why they should watch it. You know, mm -hmm. if you're putting a million Orbeez in a pool, don't start the video with you shopping for, you know, your mom's birthday present. At the beginning of the video, just say, we're gonna put a million Orbeez in this pool. And then that right there is, should, you know, be at least slightly sufficient. So help people know what to expect, maybe do a little preview at the front. Exactly. Yeah. So for most people, it's just that. They're just not hooking viewers. This ends up helping the audience to continue watching, as well as to watch all the way to the very end of the video. The third key factor is to always have a story. Mr. Beast is very good at presenting a story, even if the video that he's making uh, isn't actually a story, but he presents it all within the framework of a story. There is an introduction, a buildup, a climax, and then something is resolved at the end. All of this helps to captivate the audience. It makes them want to see things to the very end. This also serves as a powerful retention tactic. This is very important for academia in that the power of the use of story has been shown to greatly increase student engagement, learning, and overall retention of the information presented. Key factor four is humor. So Mr. Beast's videos aren't typically designed to just be comedic, but they oftentimes, typically, they're sprinkled with humorous comments, humorous, humorous situations, and again, uh, the proper, properly used humor. It isn't overboard, but just enough to keep things interesting and unexpected. The humor is also lighthearted and not hurtful or negative. This then helps with the additional key aspects of creating a positive environment within the video. The aspect of humor has been researched repeatedly within academia and has shown to greatly enhance the educational environment, the educational experience, and greatly increases motivation as well. Next is style. Mr. Beast has a very particular type of style. Mr. Beast's videos aren't fully polished Hollywood productions, but they are well edited, removing anything that slows down the presentation or the action. It's an interesting professional amateur stylistic expression. The style itself comes across as being very real, which leads to the next key factor of authenticity. The reactions and situations that occur in Mr. Beast's videos are all very real. One video that comes to mind dealing with authenticity is Mr. Beast's I ran a marathon in the world's largest shoes. In this video, Mr. Beast completed an entire marathon, 26 miles or 41.84 kilometers 
in size 40 shoes, extra large clown-like shoes. Authenticity was so important to Mr. Beast that he actually filmed the entire thing and then time-lapsed parts of it just to prove to the audience that it was indeed real. Authenticity and sincerity are extremely important to Mr. Beast in that this conveys that Mr. Beast is trustworthy and that everything Mr. Beast and his crew do on video is indeed true. This particular video was viewed over 45 million times. Similarly, one of Mr. Beast's most popular videos, going through the same drive through 1,000 times, viewed over 100 million times, was also completely filmed and used time-lapse at times in order to fully authenticate the video and prove to the audience that it was all real and not faked. Mr. Beast himself has stated that he wants to have fun with his videos, but they must always be ethical. This is an important topic in academia to understand in that multiple research has shown that there is definitely some negative effects if an instructor is viewed by the students if they're perceived as being inauthentic. The next key factor is visuals. Now, Mr. Beast goes out of his way to make visuals as, as, as clear and impactful as possible. This also correlates well with the advice given to teachers to show rather than tell. As an example, Mr. Beast made a video called Press This Button to Win $100,000. In this video, the crew would take turns pushing a giant red button. Notice how the simple button is enhanced to be more visual. After pushing the button, a big screen TV would show a video of an explosion, very visual, and would then reveal either the grand prize of $100,000 or, as Mr. Beast put it, an insanely stupid and random punishment. Needless to say, all the punishments were very visual such as wearing a pair of pants filled with mayonnaise, oh, no! <laughs> painting a wall while handcuffed to a friend, or eating five chocolate-covered crickets, and many more. Are you eating the crickets one at a time, or are you just four and done? Uh, he's four and done? Think of the very visual reactions to each one of these punishments, as well as the visual reaction to actually winning the $100,000. Yeah! <laughs> this video has been viewed over 76 million times. Again, in academia, the importance of visuals has been researched many, many times and has repeatedly shown that having good visuals enhances learning, understanding, and retention of the information. Key factor eight is simply being interesting. Mr. Beast's video, Molten Lava versus Giant Ice Block Experiment, provides a great educational example of being interesting when presenting experimental results. What sounds more interesting the typical academic way of saying these are the effects of lava when it makes contact with metal, glass, and porcelain, or the Mr. Beast method. Let's try to get into the safe using nothing but lava. The safe's on fire! Let's pour a shot glass of lava and see what happens. And what would happen if we put lava in a toilet? Lava versus toilet. So what's gonna happen to the toilet? Right through it. By presenting experimental results in ways that are much more relatable, the video content becomes so much more interesting for the audience. Other interesting examples include moving marbles and a 10 pound weight with nothing but sound waves. Nice! Yeah! yeah! Good job, speaker, high five. Speaker, we're about to play Despacito. Don't lose your marbles. And breaking glass only using megaphones. The interesting way that Mr. Beast is able to present video content makes everything so much more memorable and exciting. Why is the ice cream on fire? In academia, this correlates very well with Keller's effective ARCS model of motivation. So here, the stress is made on the importance of obtaining and retaining students' focus uh, by presenting information in interesting ways so that you really captivate them, you keep the students interested, and you keep them motivated to learn, all through the power of being interesting. Key factor number nine, emotion. Part of Mr. Beast's success is that he doesn't shy away from emotion. Generally, the emotion is excitement and enthusiasm, but happiness, exhilaration, appreciation, 
and even tears of joy have been expressed. All these emotions are presented within Mr. Beast's videos are real. Like when Mr. Beast was literally buried underground for 50 hours and cried tears of joy when it was over. I haven't seen the outside in so long, oh my gosh. I'm so happy right now, I'm crying. Oh my gosh. Give me! Hi! Hi. <laughs> there he is! Get yeah. me out of here! Oh my god, it's hot in there. Oh. This humanization of the content makes it that much more realistic, captivating, and authentic, compelling viewers to watch again and again. Research from New York City University and City University of New York have identified the importance of this factor by stating positive emotions can facilitate learning and suggest that positive emotions be considered an important factor that should be incorporated into instructional design, especially for multimedia learning environments. Similarly, Mr. Beast always has a presence within his videos. He doesn't always do the actions or challenges, but he is always there commenting, guiding, and encouraging. In academia, this is similar to the concept and the importance of an instructional presence. So this is where the instructor helps to build a community of learning. Uh, this is whether it's online or face-to-face, -face, and this is done by actually being there, being available, approachable, and truly caring for the students. The 10th key factor deals with enthusiasm, right? Loving what you do. Mr. Beast stresses that the audience will, will be able to know, they'll be able to tell if you're truly into the video, if you truly love what it is that you're doing. Wow, like that's great. Like I, I feel like viewers genuinely notice when you go the extra mile. Mm -hmm. And so with filming, it's just like trying to make sure we're doing everything we can. This All is right. fun. I, I love this, by the way. <laughs> like seriously, I just knew that this is what I wanted to do. I just, I couldn't see a life where I wasn't a YouTuber. It was either mm -hmm. I'm a YouTuber and half me or I'm, sad that was, those are like the only two outcomes so i honestly like i'm still trying to you know figure out what will make the biggest impact i i don't know the details yet i honestly i just want to keep making better and better and better videos and that doesn't always mean money and that's something i'm coming to terms with especially after doing a million dollar giveaway there are you know time effort creativity there are other ways to make a better video mm -hmm. so i just want to keep making better videos if you as a person doing the video, the main person in the video, if you don't love it, if you aren't enthusiastic about the video, then people won't be into the video either. Enthusiasm spreads, so it's important to have and express it within the video to help avoid making a boring video and to help captivate and keep the audience attention. This correlates very well with, again, repeated research dealing with the importance of enthusiasm when teaching. Number 11 is being positive. So in addition to only using positive humor, Mr. Mr. Beast is always looking for different ways to, to help others or um, to, to not be wasteful. And again, to, to maintain and sort of spread this environment, this, this idea of positivity. In the previous example given, going through the same drive-through 1,000 times, Mr. Beast is cognizant of all the food that, is, that he's ordering as part of the video premise. So he makes arrangements to deliver free food to the local school. We've been stockpiling food and we don't want it to go to waste. So we're gonna give the food to Jake to give to a local middle school. All right, Jake, you're delivering this to a middle school. This is also nicely expressed through Mr. Beast's multiple philanthropic videos and projects shown in Planting 20 Million Trees, my biggest project ever. And now we're gonna try to plant the 20 million trees. We created teamtrees.org with the help of the Arbor Day Foundation. This is your chance to make a difference. Professor Mia O'Brien and researcher LaVon Blue from Griffith University in Australia also found multiple learning enhancements that occur from positivity in the classroom. Key factor, 12 is action. It might seem obvious, but showing action, showing things being done, as opposed to just sitting there talking, but actually showing things uh, is, is a super important aspect that Mr. Beast fully is aware of and fully utilizes within his videos. Uh, he understands the concept, and so it's nonstop action. 39 YouTubers. 
one giant map, 250 hidden weapons. There are 13 teams with three people per team. Everyone has three balloons, and if all three of your balloons are popped, you're out. Last team with balloons. And Roman Atwood and Tanner with one balloon each. Oh, Roman Atwood knocks out of the game. It's 1v1. It's Tanner. And your orange taking out of the game. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my Ladies and gentlemen, that's the In academia, again, multiple research to back this up that, you know, you, by having all this action, it's extremely hard to be boring. And that's sort of one of the main problems with, with lectures or videos that are nothing but lecture is that they can become boring, which then affects learning. The 13th factor, key factor, deals with variety. Mr. Beast knows that variety is king, so he's always trying to come up with new ways of doing things or new ways of showing things, again, to maintain that variety and to always change things up. Keep it fresh and always try to introduce things here and there, and then if it, if it works well, take it and run with it for a little bit, then introduce out something else new. Different types of Mr. Beast videos include experimental videos, challenges, guest stars, philanthropy videos, quest videos, games, reaction videos, as well as mixing multiple types into one video. Audiences know that they are in for something interesting and different with every video. And this is Brian, our professional snake handler. You wanna go ahead and throw the first snake on? Let's go. That was really professional. I know. Oh! <laughs> He's kind of constricting a little bit. Is this okay? Are you ready for the next 20 snakes? There's 20? 20 more. The snakes are trying to steal the 10 grand look. No, he's like, look at him. Congratulations, your mom just won 10 grand. Let's go. The ongoing variety and change helps to generate interest and motivation within the viewer. This applies in the same way to students. Key factor 14 is interaction. Mr. Beast's videos are very interactive in that he's always talking to the audience directly, as well as to his crew, as well as to random people on the streets. The thing is, there's lots and lots of interaction. In talking to his viewers, I mean that he's expressing what is happening. He isn't just lecturing to them. A prime example of this is in his I spent 24 hours in a doomsday bunker video. He doesn't just talk about what the bunker has or has available or what can be done. Instead, he actually experiences it and physically goes through everything, commenting with the audience along the way. The audience gets to experience it as well through Mr. Beast and his crew. There's like multiple stories on this story. How does this work? Whoa. Holy crap. <gasps> Yo, is this real? This is where they grow plants for the entire bunker. So Chris, how does this feel? <laughs> I wonder what the owners of the bunker think of us right now. They're probably watching us on the camera going, look at those idiots. Because <laughs> if you're stuck in this bunker for an extended period of time, like 10 years, you're going to want to stay fit. We are now out of the bunker. Oh my gosh, the sun is so bright. Ah, uh, I can't see. I kind of want to go back. Interaction in academia is, of course, extremely important. Uh, and again, researched multiple times. So whenever possible, we need to maximize it for the greatest effect. The final key factor here is networking. And by that, I mean learning from others, guest stars, and collaboration. So... This final key factor is important in that Mr. Beast keeps things interesting. He keeps making videos that people want to watch because he does things differently, right? And one of the techniques is this networking aspect where he'll do collaborations with other YouTubers. He'll bring in uh, guest stars to be on his show. Um, he'll, he'll bring in just different ways of interacting with different people. So again, you have this, this networking, this collaboration that's going on. So by doing this, he is changing things up and keeping them interesting. And this can be applied also within uh, academia. Prime examples of this key factor include $300,000 influencer trivia tournament. There were multiple guest stars. I filled my brother's house with slime and bought him a new one. Here, Mr. Beast brings in Mark Robert. He's a former NASA and Apple engineer, now famous YouTube science channel influencer. And $250,000 influencer rock, paper, scissor tournament. Again, multiple guest stars, multiple additional YouTube influencers. 
So in academia, this translates into having someone new in the classroom, bringing in a, a guest star, you know, a, a guest presenter. Uh, this also has been shown to improve learning and again, student motivation and the student experience as well. Mr. Beast's true genius in making these exceptional videos is that he doesn't just follow one or two of these key factors. He follows all of them and puts them together in different ways. So by, by sort of having this synergistic effect from putting them all together, it makes the videos that much more fun to watch. Now, the idea of fun wasn't singled out as a fun factor, right? It wasn't singled out as like, hey, this is a key factor, because what is fun if not a combination of those 15 factors, right? About making things engaging, about making them uh, humorous and interesting, having variety. That is what makes it this this fun factor. And Mr. Beast and his genius understands this fun factor. And so he incorporates that into all of his videos. As Mr. Beast puts it. Because if someone watches a video of yours and they loved it, you can bet the next time you're recommended, their chance of clicking is a lot higher, you know? So it's like, is it something that can be entertaining for a long time? Is it something that if they watch this next time, you know, they see a video of mine, will they be excited? Like, I loved that last one. So I wanna watch the next one. In the same way, we in academia need to, you know, fully understand what's going on with these key factors and have the same level of commitment that Mr. Mr. Beast has in incorporating all of these key factors so that we can make our videos as maximally engaging and so, you know, as powerful so that students can, can really sort of interact with the information and retain that information and then also, you know, have a, a fun and great experience along the way. Similarly, we need to always remember that learning is for life. Special thank you to Mr. Beast for making all sorts of awesome videos. I know that uh, I enjoy them, so does my family. I strongly recommend that all of you subscribe to his channel as well. Thank you.